Hey y'all, it's Sharla from the Hartzell Homestead, back with you on the Creative Retreat Kids YouTube channel with the May Kit, My Refuge. I'm in my vintage uh, book junk journal today and want to create my reflection entry. I've been tossing around some ideas ever since I got this kit. I want to play with these sketchy birds, so we'll see how they come about. Um, but I have decided to spend some creative time trying some other new ideas with it. Now, I know it looks like I've already started, and I have. I felt like it might end up being a long recording if I didn't get a head start, so I was a little bit proactive. Went ahead and uh, prepped my background, and it's a good thing I did because I still worked on these pages for probably 30 minutes, so the recording can get a little long. Um, but I do have y'all on fast forward, so you're welcome for that. I will tell you uh, what I do as I go through and try not to miss a step, though. Um, as I got started... On the left, I simply put down uh, some collage medium. You can use Mod Podge. I didn't have any handy. Um, and I placed an old hymnal page down on top of the text, of course, that was in the, um, the book. Now, I have probably shared this numerous times, but I love to collect old hymnals for crafting. I do not bring the ones from the church pew home and tear them apart, I promise. Um, but this one is very, very old. And the paper is very brittle. So I thought I better go ahead and get it started, give it plenty of time to dry and get it covered so that I didn't damage it further as I was kind of playing with it and going through. I looked through several of my hymnals to see if I could find a hymn to go along with this kit. And in this one, I happened to come across one that is simply titled My Refuge. So how perfect is that? On the right page, I covered... Uh, the entire uh, page text that was in the book with a mixture of two distress paints. I was really just trying to kind of get a, a background close enough to the vintage paper. I mean, that paper is exactly the color that I have found it. It's a very old print. Um, and so I had to mix a couple of colors and I had frayed burlap and rusty hinge on hand. So I just mixed those together until I could cover the page enough. I knew I was putting another layer on top. So I just wanted it to kind of go away in the background uh, so then I came back after it dried uh, with some collage medium again, and I placed a piece of the natural color tissue paper. I keep a stash of all kinds of those little papers, things that I have, comes in packaging, maybe it was in a gift. I fold it up, stick it in a little box, because I know I'm going to need it sometimes. So I went through that till I found the right color of tissue paper. I crinkled it up and then, you know, flattened it back out a little bit. But then even while the collage medium was wet, I wrinkled purposefully some places so that way I could add a little bit of texture and interest onto the page. Okay, now here I am simply modifying one of the kit stamps just a little bit so that I can fit the words together to create my title. I want it to read My Lord and Refuge, and I wanted it to fit together just a little bit tighter than what I could get it to do. So I just went in with some very sharp little Tim Holt scissors and trimmed out a little V underneath the Lord um, stamp so that I could get them to fit closer together. Then I set that aside and I'm gonna come back later. Now earlier, you saw me go around both of these pages with some vintage photo and walnut stain distress ink just to bring the two pages together, make them look a little more cohesive in color. And then I also used it to add some of the um, uh, layers of color to my texture page as well. Now, here's where I wanted to play with those sketchy little birds. I love them. I wanted them on my page, but I really didn't feel like I could freehand draw them. So I made myself a little guide, a little template from the Faithfield Digitals and placed it over a piece of graphite or carbon paper that I got at Hobby Lobby and cut it down to size so that I didn't have the black graphite paper going everywhere on my page. Um, because you can rub it and get a little too much um, transfer underneath. So I simply traced it over. Um, you can see me going over it with a pencil. And then when you lift it up, you have a, looks like a pencil marking. Then I just simply went over that with a fine tip a brown tone uh, marker and I absolutely love them. I think they're so much fun. Now I did make my template in a graphic design software. I just kind of cut and pasted from the Faithful Digital and enlarged it. But you could do that in a number of different ways. Uh, you could go to a copier, uh, you know, take whatever piece that you're wanting to do, whether it be uh, hand lettering or an image like this, and enlarge or reduce with a copier and then simply put that over the graphite paper and go along the same way. 
Now, while I'm working on this, I want to read uh, some of the um, words from this hymn. I think it is so beautiful. It says, I cling to the Savior wherever I go, for he is so precious to me. In mercy, he shows me the right way to go. My rock of salvation is he. When Satan would tempt me with things that allure, I go to my Savior in prayer. A voice speaks so gently, my soul to assure he knows every pitfall and snare. I could not go on without him at my side. This world is unfriendly and cold, and often in fury the storms would be tied. I need him, my frail hand to hold. I absolutely love to read lyrics of hymns, even if I don't know the tune or the song. I mean, there are books and books and books of beautiful hymns, and you can just read the message. You know, the writer of the song was led by God to record whatever it is that was on their heart and whatever the time may be. And there are so many beautiful stories behind the hymns, um, whether it be in an old church hymnal or on a contemporary worship station. So many beautiful things for us to learn from that. And they direct us straight back to scripture, just like with this, and goes right along with a devotional that was written for us today. This song was penned in 1944, and it's still relevant to us today. And I think that is so beautiful. All right, now I'm going to set aside my pages uh, just for a little bit so I can work on my reflection piece. I'm making this book a little too chunky with some of the thick layers that I've been adding in, especially early on. And um, so I am going to start creatively working with the book and the spacing as I go. So here I'm just going to create a note card um, and use some pieces of the hymn page, just tearing and layering, securing with the collage medium again, just similar to how I did uh, my pages in the book. Um, I did a workshop recently on creating note cards as a way to extend our entries. And in that, I made one very similar to this. And I thought, oh, I've got to redo that and make one match for this entry. I loved it. Um, I like the open journey word focus cards a lot. I really enjoy doing those. I've done a few of them. And I keep a little old drawer, I've mentioned that before, with cards on my journaling table. I love the four by five format that Ingrid uses. And so I just cut some cardstock down and match that size so that they all fit in there really nicely. But sometimes I use them to create um, extra note cards for different Bible studies, entries like this, word study cards, you know, that I just want to make one uh, that I may come across. But here I'm actually going to place it inside of a hidden pocket. I'm not going to put it in my little, little drawer. I'm going to put it between the pages of my book. As I remove pages, tearing out several pages in between entries, I take those nearby pages and glue three sides together, leaving the top open. So I have these little hidden pockets. Then I can just slide stuff down into the little gap uh, that I created by taking out pages and it's it's working a little better and it's giving me a little, gaining a little space. <laughs> so I also edge this card with the distress inks that I used earlier so it matches. And when I go to stamp it though, my title, I felt like it just kind of faded into the background. So I did end up using a black ink there and I liked it uh, just as well. Now, after noting my answers on the back uh, to the reflection questions, I make a little tab from the hymnal cover, the back cover, so that I can um, attach it to the top of my card and then just easily slip it in and out of my pocket. And that finishes up my entry today. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I learned a few new creative techniques, but more importantly, I spent a little more time in study and worship. I've enjoyed being here with you today. And as always, I'll leave product notes and links in the description box below. If you do not already uh, subscribe, consider subscribing to the Creative Retreat Kids YouTube channel. I love listening to all of the uh, ladies on the creative team and I learned something from every single one of them um, with all of the, the kits each month. Please click the thumbs up if you liked this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Have a blessed day.